All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching the Irregular Magic High School Season 2, Episode 8. Just quickly before the start of the episode, I would just like to say, if you like the video, make sure to drop a like, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the episode right now. Yeah, of course I did, drifting because of engine trouble. Mmm, yeah, maybe. Who knows? Damn. Okay. Called about the news? About what? <laughs> oh, of course. Little globe cha uh, changing screen. Screen. Scene. Why not? Uh, that's an interesting title. Uh, subtitle. Okay. Let's pretend like we didn't see that. Uh, sure. Alright. Mm -hmm. Hello again, Pixie. How's it going? Oh. It's really helpful that this uh, parasite has become like friendly terms of them, isn't it? <laughs> Good question, Tatsuya. Oh, okay. Each one of us is not a perfectly autonomous individual. Oh, this is all the, all the parasite infested people. We will, we will rock you. <laughs> dun, dun, <shh. laughs> Is that what they're doing right now? <laughs> I can't tell. Alright, already this guy with the red stripe through his hair seems like a kind of prevalent character kind of situation. One of them didn't wake up. Why? Why did one of them not wake up? Not good. <laughs> not good at all. It's a robot. Yeah, it doesn't have female parts, so it's fine. It's a robot. Yeah, Pixie is a robot. What's the big deal? No, she's a robot. Tati is the only one that speaks sense in this anime. I swear to God. <laughs> oh look, she looks. Look, she looks like a normal person though. She's still a robot though, so it does look like a lot. It does look like a a, a lot like Hanukkah now that it's like. Out of maid uniform with the hair and the eyes and stuff. That's smart. Sending your friends your location to be fair. I feel like a lot of scenarios in anime could be uh, fixed with that kind of solution. Just, oh, let me just let my my friends know my location, you know. Just to be safe. What's this? What's this about? Why is she near a whole gang? Yeah, what happened? The whole, everybody was gone. I really am I'm interested to know. Oh, okay, who's this? Ayako Kuraba. <laughs> yeah, like the USB doing, they do be interfering a lot, don't they? What do you think? <laughs> oh, what did she do? Is she the one behind the, uh, the empty room? I'm not sure who it's a roof for in this situation, like... <laughs> I mean, I'm more on the Japanese side, I suppose, but like, I don't know. Not a bad offer. But they are still looking for the person behind Scorch Halloween. Oh, guess not. Guess she will withdraw. <laughs> you can say that again. His spidey senses are tingling. I forgot what her, um, her magic, like kind of trait is. What is it? I forgot. Oh, I forgot what her specialty is. <laughs> oh, it's cute. Interesting. Element bloodline of light. Oh, here we go. Friend or foe? What's the beef? What's happening? Marte. I uh, why is it that Tatia wants to keep uh, Pixie on their side though? If the parasites will withdraw, then yeah. But this is only your wish to be on long to Tatia because you have Hanukkah's thoughts, kind of. 
I mean, if you were released from it and you didn't have Hanukkah's fault anymore, I think you'd go back to being a normal parasite. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Fight the parasites then. You could have ended this quickly, but sure, why not? Just another waifu to add to the harem, I guess, it being a robot like. Oh, good point, actually, yeah. Okay, yeah, loophole. Yeah, good point. Well, because he clearly cares about people that aren't magicians, you know? Really? I can't remember the last time in this show when I saw someone that wasn't a magician. Like, I understand the whole political side of this show right now where they're, like, trying to see whether magic is a good thing or not and whether they should, like, ban it worldwide or, I don't know, because of what's happening right now. But, like, still... <laughs> no. What's a knife gonna do against Tatsu like? <laughs> I would put down your weapons, to be honest. God, I love how Tatsu can just disable people's magic. Oh yeah, she died. Oh, so she really did die. I thought she teleported. Oh wow, okay. Cool. Pixie's fighting alongside us as well, it's awesome. We have a, a robot that's capable of magic right now. Ooh, what's this? What is this? What's happening right now? Oh, those are the things that Tatia gave Hanukkah, isn't it? What just happened? Okay, so that was an interesting ending. Um... I'm going to assume that the kind of light thing we just saw was something to do with what the grandfather said about the the elements bloodline of light. So that's interesting that Hanukkah could be from kind of some special bloodline, I suppose. Um, and I thought the, the, the hair braid clips things um, that Tatsuya gave Hanukkah would be of some use, I suppose. Um, I thought they'd be special in some kind of way. Um, so yeah, that was pretty interesting right there. Uh, it's cool to see that Pixie as well, being a robot, can use obviously magic, you know, her being a parasite. Um, I, did, I didn't I did understand why Tatia didn't just like say, yep, yeah, parasite, leave Pixie, go to them. Um, until then it was further explained that, yeah, the magicians would be safe from any hostile activity. However, normal humans would not be safe. So, yeah, now I understand Tati's reason behind not letting Pixie go. And I suppose, also for plot convenience, uh, Pixie has become kind of a friend, kind of someone that likes Tati as well. So, always adding to more more to the harem, I guess. <laughs> That's this kind of anime. But, uh, yeah, overall, pretty good episode. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day. And peace out.